License to kill Fran Sanchez's plane. Yes, we're gonna go fishing. <laughs> this is the actual plane from the movie License to Kill. It's in pieces. The wings are off of it already. It's being refurbished. This used to be outside the Sugarloaf Airport where the filming actually took place. You remember him escaping in this plane? This is his escape plane where he goes. Ah. What's unique about this airplane, we have some vehicles that are called special effects vehicles and uh, vehicles that the uh, stunt people turn into to do stunts. This is a special effects plane. There was two mock airplanes they made to match the flying Cessna. There was one on a tripod at a nearby airport, a 15 foot, three tripods, and Dalton was lowered down onto that one for the close-up shots. This one, they had the hel helicopter tow this or lift this from two cables, one from the rear, one from the front. And it's a far away shot, so you don't really see the cables that much. And the story was told when the director was ready, the stunt people in the helicopter was to lower, let go the forward cable, and the airplane would swing down as if in the story, the Coast Guard has captured the airplane. So they made, they made this thing very light, so the, the helicopter could carry it. So there's, there was no interior. And there's no engine in here. There's a framework in here that just holds the help, the, the propeller. When we, we knew this airplane was at the actual airport they filmed this at uh, near Key West. And we finally acquired it from the airport owner. The airport acquired, airport owner acquired it from the film people. And he just had it out on highway one with a skydiving sign because he had a skydiving business. So I've been sitting out there since the 80s through the storms and everything. We acquired it very reasonably. And the owner agreed that he will go ahead and take the wings off for us when we got there. So our co-founder, Doug Redenius of the foundation, he and I flew down to Miami, rented a Penske 26-foot 20, box truck, Dro drove to Key West, got there at 4 p.m. We thought we were going to get help. Sun is going down. No one's around. And the box truck is like five feet off the ground, the bottom of the box truck. So we're looking for wood or something to wheel this thing up in the, in the box truck. We have come-alongs. And Doug says, can we use the wings as ramps? Well, I said, absolutely, because the wings are damaged anyway. I'm 40 years in the aviation maintenance industry, 15 years in general aviation, and I got like 35 years in commercial airline aviation maintenance. So I I knew the wings would, would hold up, but they would maybe crushed on the top. You don't see the top, they're damaged anyway. So we tried it and we wenched it up from the wings. And these are the wings back here. And the, these are the tops of the wings. So it, it didn't really damage it too much. This plane by itself is only by a thousand pounds without the engine. The wings are the heaviest. They have steel spars in the front leading edge and at the edge. There's a steel bar. That, that's the heaviest part of the wing. And it takes four or five guys to take these wings on and off. But two, just two main bolts and a strut that holds it from the fuselage to the wing. So we did that, but we had a problem when we were wenching it up to the opening of the truck. The, the opening of the truck was just a little bit too narrow for the landing gear tires, the main landing gear tires. So it was a good thing that this older model plane had leaf spring gears, struts. And we were able to strap the struts, ratchet them, and, and squeeze the, the tires in and just barely fit through the door opening. So that was it, and it was it was it was like February, so it wasn't too bad, you know. But this is probably thirty feet, and so we had we drove this plane in the truck with the tail sticking out, <laughs> you know. So we had some pretty good looks, you yeah. know, on the way. Now, when you were there, they had the wings taken off already for you, right? Yes. So you were, yes. you were like, "Hey, ramps, this is good." Right. 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 Yeah. So, so this is the actual plane that they use for that. Now they did also 
this is the one that's sitting at the Coast Guard station, right? Uh, oh, yes. When they, they, when they lowered it. Yeah, down. they lowered this down to the safe house. Yeah, the, right. Yeah, there you in go. the movie, they, you see it leaning up against the building in the safe house because they have Sanchez the whole time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that that's really fun to see it there, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fabulous. A lot of people miss that in the movie. Yes. Because it's, it's a like quick shot. a quick shot. Right. It's a quick shot. When, and once you see it there, you go, oh. Man, that 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 adds so much dimension, make, right? and it makes sense and, yes. and easy to go ahead and do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. this is great. That's a fabulous story.